We know the act fairly well, of CSIS Act. Um, I was not familiar with the details of the Emergencies Act. I was kind of impressed last week when documents from CSIS Director David Vignon were released to the Rolo Commission. That's the commission that's looking into the Liberals' use of the Emergencies Act to clear out the Freedom Convoy from downtown Ottawa last winter. Vigneault had said to the government, these protesters do not constitute a threat to the national security. There's a very specific definition in the CSIS Act about what a national security threat is, and CSIS can't do anything about the protesters or any other conspirators until they meet that definition. And the Freedom Convoy truckers didn't meet that definition. This is also significant in another way because the Emergencies Act itself uses the same definition as the CSIS Act. So if CSIS says, look, these people are not a threat to the national security, that then means there's not enough of a threat to the national security to invoke the Emergencies Act. So I thought, hey, this is very significant. This shows that the government never had the legal justification to invoke the Emergencies Act on the truckers in Ottawa. Then Vigneault goes to the Rolo Commission in person this week and he says, yes, yes, well, that's true. That's true. There was no legal justification for using the Emergencies Act, but I told the government they should do it anyway because things were getting out of hand. All of these elements of, of unpredictability based on, on my experience having been around national security issues for, for uh, quite a few years now, led me to believe that the, the, the regular tools uh, were just not uh, enough to address the situation. And that, I think, is a summation of what's wrong with Ottawa's establishment. They now think that their own opinions supersede the law of the land. They think that it's more important to do as they think they say than it is to follow the law. That's not how the rule of law in a democracy works. You cannot just have the government making up laws on the fly. You can't have them changing the rules in the middle of the game just because it suits their purposes. And that's exactly what was happening. The, we're, we're seeing a lot of that at the Rolo Commission. We saw it from Bill Blair, who had been the public safety minister at the time of the, of the convoy in, in uh, January and February of 2022. 20, uh, Blair came to the commission and he said, well, you know, when, when the protests expanded and went to the border crossings at the Ambassador Bridge in Ontario and at Coots in Alberta. A failure to resolve in Ottawa would have resulted just continue to, like, like whack-a-mole, chasing border uh, blockades from one point of entry to another. That's when I realized we really needed the emergency. But both of those incidents, the, the Ambassador Bridge in Ontario and the Coots Alberta blockade, both of those were handled by the RCMP and the Ontario Provincial Police using existing police powers. They will say that to you. They've, they've testified to that at the Royal Commission. They did not use Emergency Act powers to clear out those two blockades. So that also shows that the government had just lost its mind. It wasn't thinking logically. It wasn't doing things according to the law. It was just doing things according to what was best for the Trudeau government and what was best for the Liberal Party's electoral chances. And that's just wrong. For Post Media, I'm Lauren Gunter.